This is one of my favorite places I like to take my clients to. This session focuses on I feel connected. So come into a comfortable seat of your choice. Maybe lie down inside or outside. Place your hands either facing up or maybe down onto your knees if you need more grounding. As we want to feel a bit more connected, I would suggest you take your palms and place them on your knees. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, let it go. Take another deep breath in through the nose and let it go. Take another breath in and gently with your next breath out, close your eyes. Feel the breath traveling down into your body. And with your next breath in, observe the breath touching the back of your throat. The air, the temperature of the air, and how the breath travels down into your body, nourishing every cell in your body. And how the breath connects with every cell of your body. And then keep breathing in for the count of five. Five, four, three, two, one. And out for the count of five, four, three, two, one. Keep breathing in for five, four, three, two, one. And out for five, four, three, two, one. Maybe keep counting in your own head and continue with that steady breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And feel how you feel more grounded, more connected with your breath to the present moment. And the reason we sometimes feel lost or disconnected is because we spend more time living in the past and in the future instead of the present moment. Rather than allowing to consciously connect with the present moment. If we connect with the present moment, we become aware of our feelings and our sensations and sometimes that can be scary because we are not used to that connection feelings any sensations listening to our body Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And take some time to scan through that body. Feel this connection between the ground and the sit bones. Your legs and the floor. Feeling the connection between the palms, the hands and the knees. OK, 
Can you feel any tension in your limbs? And then focus your attention on your spine. Do you find yourself sitting straight? Maybe with your next breath in, lengthen your spine slightly. And maybe feel into any tensions in your low back, your middle back and your upper back. And if there are, with your next breath out, send all your energy to that tension. And imagine to let go. Focus your attention on your neck, your head, your forehead and your cheeks the muscles around the eyes, relax, let go and let the breath do the rest. And we will use a mantra to go deeper into that connection with ourselves. I am connected and you can use the sound of the heart chakra, the Anahata. Yum. Take a deep breath in. Yum. I am connected to myself. Quietly repeat the mantra in your head. And if you find your mind wander, just gently come back to the mantra and to the sound of the heart chakra. I watch the time. And when you hear my voice, gently come back and open your eyes. Yum. I am connected to myself. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Gently open your eyes and take in your surroundings. And notice how you feel now. And let's go and deepen our connection with ourselves with some movement. So grab your mat if you're not already on it and let's get started. Let's continue our practice and we start in child's pose to continue our connection with ourselves. Take the knees as wide as the yoga mat, big toes touch, and take the forehead down to the mat. Feel that connection between the forehead and the mat, the hands and the mat, the forearms and the mat, top of the feet, the shins and the mat, the heels and the glutes. Keep breathing in through the nose, and out through the nose. Observe and follow your breath. Mm -hmm. 
Really breathe and expand your rib cage. And bring your attention inside, the space inside. Feeling connected also means connecting not just to the space outside our environment, but also our internal space. Then come up, push into tabletop and then come onto your toes and hover your knees off the floor. Hold here, press through the hands, rest, storm the shoulders. Keep pressing through the big toes. And then press into downward facing dog. Bend your knees a little bit. And then press through the fingertips to take the weight off the wrists. Look at your feet. Let your head hang heavy. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Lift your right arm up and feel the connection with your left hand and the left mat and then reach back to your left shin. Feel how that changes the connection in your body. Keep pressing evenly through the hands and the toes. Breathe in. And breathe out, walk your dog out. And we take it to the other side. Breathe in, lift, lengthen your left arm and reach back to your right shin. Really pressing through the right fingertips. And again, feel that connection between the hands, the mat, the toes and the mat. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. One more breath in and take your hand back. Bend your legs generously, step, jump to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back from the tailbone to the ground, lengthen. Draw your shoulder blades back, create space between the shoulders and the ears. And breathe out, forward fold. Bend your legs so you get a nice stretch in your hamstrings. And gently shift your weight into your toes maybe a little bit and back into your heels. And let your head hang heavy. Breathe in, press for all four corners of the feet, reach up, look up, extended mountain pose. Take the hands down to the side. Breathe in, bend your legs, reach up and lift your left leg up for extended leg raise. And then hinge from the hips. And coming to a warrior three, keep your left foot engaged and flexed and your hands as if somebody would pull you from the hands and the feet apart. Really lengthen, press through your right foot. Feel that connection between your right foot and the floor of the mat. Breathe in and step back into a high lunge. Draw your shoulder blades down, create space between the shoulder blades at the shoulders and the ears. Then bring your hands to your heart center. Stay here for a moment, breathe in, reach up and open up your hands and then take them down to the mat. Breathe in, press your weight into your left hand and raise your right hand up to the sky, to the ceiling, easy twist. Really pressing through your left fingertips, your left palm. Feel that connection between the toes, the back foot, your front foot. Breathe in and breathe out. Take your right hand down, step back into a high plank. 
shift your weight forward, breathe out, low plank, breathe in upward facing dog or baby cobra, breathe out downward facing dog or tabletop. You can walk your dog out, press through all four corners of your hands, bend your legs slightly if you need to. Your heels might not touch the floor and that's absolutely fine. Breathe in, lift your right arm up and again, reach over to your left chin. Put your right hand back down. Breathe in, lift your left arm up and reach back to your right chin. Pressing through the right hand and the toes. Breathe in and breathe out, take your hand back. Bend your knees generously and press through the hands. Step, jump to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, hands to shins, draw your shoulder blades back, create length and space. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, lengthen from the tailbone to the ground. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, reach up, look up. Extended mountain pose, press for all four corners of the feet. Take your hands to the side and then breathe in and push your weight into the left foot. Lift your right leg up for extended leg raise. Hinge from the hips, come into a warrior three. Engage your right foot this time, flex it and imagine you're pressing into a wall behind you. Focus on your connection between your left foot and the mat. And then step into a high lunge. Reach up, look up, open up the space between the shoulders and the ears by drawing the shoulder blades together. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose and out. To connect with the space around you, how you reach up, how you are on your high lunge and what space that creates within you, in your body in certain areas. Without, take your hands to your heart center. Maybe close your eyes for a moment. Feel into your heart space. Feel into your connection with yourself. Breathe in, reach up, breathe out, take your right hand down. And then lift your left arm up, reach to the sky or the ceiling. Maybe look up your left hand, easy twist on the right side. Keep pressing through your left foot, your right hand. Draw the shoulder blades together and breathe out. Step back into a high plank. Come maybe down to your knees, breathe in low plank and breathe out. Breathe in, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Bend your legs. Breathe in, shift your weight into your right leg and lift your left leg up, knee to nose. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, knee to nose. Breathe in, lengthen, flex your left foot. Breathe out, knee to nose once more. And step your left foot between your hands. Breathe in, come up, high lunge once more. Reach your hands to the ceiling or the sky. Breathe out, take your hands to heart center. Breathe in, lengthen through the spine, reach up. And then open up into a reverse warrior two. Right arm goes forwards, left arm goes backwards. Keep your focus. Breathe in, flip, reverse your right hand and draw it back. And 
in, then breathe out, take your right hand down to the floor, reach your left hand up, easy twist on the right side. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, take your left hand down, frame your front foot, step back into your high plank once more. Breathe in, shift your weight forwards, breathe out, low plank. Breathe in, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Breathe out, downward facing dog or tabletop. You can always come into a child's pose if you need to. Breathe in, shift your weight into your left foot, raise your right leg up for three-legged dog. Lengthen. Flex your right foot. Breathe out, knee to nose. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, knee to nose. See if you can connect there. Breathe in, lengthen once more. And breathe out, knee to nose. And step your right foot between your hands, press through your front foot. Breathe in, reach up, look up, high lunge. Breathe in. And breathe out, hands to heart center. Connect to your space. Breathe in, lengthen. And then open up for reverse warrior two. Take your left arm forward and your right arm backwards. Keep your focus on your left middle finger. Pressing for all four corners of your feet. Breathe in, flip reverse and draw your left arm back. And out, cartwheel your hands down, frame your left arm down next to the right foot and your right hand reaches up to the ceiling. Easy twist. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Take your right hand down, frame your front foot, step back into a high plank. Breathe in, shift your weight forwards, breathe out, come into a low plank. Breathe in, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Breathe out, downward facing dog or tabletop. Really pressing through your fingertips, the palms. And bend your legs maybe a little bit to get an even deeper stretch. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Let it go. Focus your attention on your connection to yourself. Breathe in, step, jump to the front of the mat. Take a moment here. Forward fold, ragdoll, grab the opposite elbows. Just hang gently, swing from side to side. Take your hands back down to the mat. Bend your legs and come onto the mat, lying on your back, soles of the feet on the ground, on the mat. Take a moment here. Feel into the connection and we set up for bridge pose. So bring your heels close to your glutes, press your palms into the mat and then take a deep breath in and rise up for five, four, three, two, one. Pressing through the hands, the arms, the feet, and lower down for five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. 
Once more, breathe in, come up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. And out for five, four, three, two, one. Feel the connection from your lower back to the mat. Breathe in. And you can either set up for a wheel now or for bridge pose. If you go into a wheel, take your hands behind your ears and then press into your hands and your tippy toes and then press into your wheel. Breathe in and breathe out. Wherever you are, bridge your wheel. Breathe in, tuck your chin into your chest and then slowly lower down if you are in the wheel and come down vertebra by vertebra, bridge your wheel. Take the soles of the feet together for Supta Baddha Konasana and just feel into your connection with the mat. Take your hands to your belly if that's comfortable. Keep breathing in through the nose and out for the nose. Honor your connection, acknowledge, appreciate your connection with yourself, the time and the space that you have taken to deepen that connection. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. What lies behind us and what lies in front of us is nothing compared to what lies within us. And it's that space once more that we need to honor. Bring your knees together and then draw them into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Take the hands to the outside edges of your feet and open up for happy baby. You can also take your hands onto your thighs or your calves and then draw them down into your armpits. Maybe swing gently from left to right if that's comfortable or just remain in stillness. Feel into your heart space. Feel into the connection between the floor and your mat, your spine. And let go of the hands gently, take them down to the mat. Take your hands back onto your belly. Just feel your breath going in and out, lifting your abdomen. Before we're going to work on our abdominals for a little bit, so breathe in, lift both legs up to the ceiling or to the sky so that the soles look up. And then we do scissor legs, so breathe out, Lower your left leg, breathe in, come back up. Breathe out, lower your right leg. Breathe in, come back up. Breathe out, left leg lower. Breathe out, right leg lower. Breathe in. Left leg lowers. Right leg lowers. 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 And then keep your both feet together and then we lower them together for 60 degrees, 30 degrees and come back up. So breathe in, lengthen and lower for 60 degrees, 30 degrees. Breathe in, come back up. Once more, 60 degrees, 30 degrees. Breathe in, bring your feet back up. And then bend your legs and take them into your chest. Give yourself a hug. And then bring your soles of the feet down to the mat and then let your knees drop over to the left side. Take your hands into a T-shape. Feel that stretch on the right side of your body. 
Make sure that both shoulders stay on the mat. Breathe in, come back up and breathe out, let them drop to the right side of your mat. Keep your hands in a T-shape and maybe you want to look out to the left side. Again, make sure that both shoulders remain on the floor. Breathe in, come back up to center. Stretch your right leg out, stretch your left leg out. Take your hands to the side, Shavasana. Now focus your attention on that connection to yourself. Our intention was to feel connected. So you can ask yourself what were times throughout the practice where this connection was broken up or whether your thoughts drifted off somewhere else. And that's okay. Just bring your attention back to that connection with your heart space, the Anahata. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. Have a wonderful rest of your day.